Coventry's legacy as a city of peace and reconciliation began during the midst of the Second World War. On the night of the 14th of November 1940, German aeroplanes dropped over 4,000 firebombs on the city, killing hundreds of people and destroying large parts of the community, including its medieval cathedral. It was an attack that shocked the world. After the attack, the provost of the cathedral urged the city not to seek revenge, but instead to forgive not only the Germans, but all of humanity, the curse that is war. The ruins of the bombed cathedral are considered by many to be a peace site. They are a constant reminder of the destruction that is caused by war and a place of pilgrimage visited by thousands every year. The decision to rebuild the cathedral was taken the morning after its destruction as a sign of faith, trust and hope for the world. The old and new cathedral now sit side by side together representing both the best and worst of humanity. The Peace and Reconciliation Gallery tells the story of Coventry's role in promoting peace and reconciliation around the world. A visit to the gallery will allow you to explore Coventry's relationships with its many twin cities and see important pieces from the Herbert's collection, like John Piper's iconic painting of the cathedral ruins the morning after the Blitz. Today Coventry is a diverse and vibrant community, named by the government as one of 12 dispersal cities outside the south of England for people seeking sanctuary within the UK. We are fortunate enough to have a population that includes people from all walks of life. The stories of Coventry's growing communities experience with contemporary war and conflict are told in the Peace and Reconciliation Gallery's temporary exhibition space. The current exhibition, 100 Days, the Rwandan Genocide 20 Years Later, is a contemporary visual arts exhibition that explores the experiences of female genocide survivors and looks at the difficult subject of sexual violence as a weapon of war. Featuring award-winning photographic portraits by Jonathan Togovnik, as well as installations by Venice Benyali veteran Alfredo Jar and New York-based artist Brookie Maxwell. 100 Days, the Rwandan Genocide 20 Years Later is a small but powerful exhibition which allows you to chart the actions that lead to genocide and shows you what actions we can take now to stop genocide forever. The Peace and Reconciliation Gallery is located on the ground floor of the Herbert. It is open seven days a week and all of its exhibitions and interactives are free. So the next time you visit us at the Herbert, stop by and help us to continue to spread Coventry's legacy as a city of peace and reconciliation.